All right, so I'm running uh, the uh, the uh, beta 2 release of Ubuntu 1204, you know, the LTS. And uh, today what we're going to be doing is basically just um, using GIMP along with HUD. And uh, before I get started, i got to send a shout-out to the Ubuntu Weekly News. Um, he has a really cool video on how to install, you know, Ubuntu onto a USB stick. <clears throat> Not through the through the uh, standard uh, USB creator, but actually installing it onto a stick. And that's what I have right now. I'm running this off a USB stick, a little 16 gigabyte. You know, I got my whole little partitions going on with my music and whatever. Uh-oh, got a little crash already. But anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. Check him out. He has a cool channel. Uh, subscribe to him if you want, you know. Um, good source of information. A lot of his uh, videos that he has, uh, he has links in the description, you know, for everything. So, anyways, let's go and get started. All right. So we're going to be using HUD, like I said, and I guess HUD is just another way of uh, discovering submenus or navigating through menus. Um, GIMP is, you know, <laughs> has tons of submenus and menus, and, you know, for a new user, you know, approaching GIMP, this could be very, you know, overwhelming, I guess. And basically, you know, HUD is just going to help you along with that. So let's give it a try. So let's try File New, right? So let's go Alt, New file new there it is and this isn't a, a GIMP tutorial all right this I'm just you know experimenting you know what I mean all right let's try uh, I guess adding a color I don't think you can add colors through a, a sub menu or anything let's try this uh, orangey thing nope there it goes all right get our ellipse tool and let's try adding a selection and let's say you don't want to, you goofed up or whatever. Um, normally, it's, you know, Control Z to go back. Let's try uh, Alt Undo. There it is. Undo Ellipse Selection. All right. Let's try it again. Now let's invert. Select Invert. There it is. So if I want to feather it. I guess it'll be the same, right? Feather. Select feather. And I misspelled it too and I found it. So that was one of my little concerns. Um, I am dyslexic. I have a hard time spelling. And I was just wondering, you know, how does this, you know, feature adapt to that? And it seems to kind of have a little bit of a fuzzy logic, you know, kind of kind of understands what you're trying to do, more or less. All right. Let's try a, a new layer, I guess. New, new layer. There it is. All right, transparency. Yes. Let's go ahead and add another color. That I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So we have a, this, this selection going on. So we need to remove that selection. So I guess I'll. Uh, remove remove alpha channel remove all guides remove shadow remove nope so be uh, select none will be the command I guess or the, the menu none select none okay all right let's try uh, a new layer again new layer and uh, let's go ahead and add like a filter or something like a, a render like clouds I guess or plasma plas there he is plasma all right <clears throat> press ok let's um, see a lot of people like to you know get photographs and, and rotate you know stuff you know flip the image or whatever See if it'll find that right away. Like, um, I know it's transform, I think. Layer, transform, rotate. Layer, transform, flip. There it is. All right, let's just try rotate. There we go. Rotate 90 degrees. All right, let's try Alt, undo. All right, let's try... Uh, Blur. No Gaussian blur. Blur. 
Gaussian blur. There it is. But see if I didn't know that, you know, I would probably wouldn't have found it. All right. How about like uh, black and white or, or uh, you know, what's it called? Desaturate, let's try black and white. Filters, black and white. Flatten them in. No, that's not what I want. Cancel. I guess desaturate. Colors. C-O. There it is. Colors desaturate. All right. Not bad. Now, I know these are not in the, the uh, sub-menus, but I guess we'll try it. Like the mode selection, I guess mode. See, that's another thing you gotta keep in mind is that you have to have your program focused. See, mine wasn't focused because I clicked over here. So click here, mode overlay. No, I don't see it, so I guess you have to just do it through here. Mode overlay. Yeah, let's try just uh, duplicating that, I guess. Get this weird looking thing going on. <laughs> so anyways, you kind of get the idea, you know, just uh, discovering new things, I guess. Um, you know, desaturations, you know, color blurs or whatever. Um, instead of having to navigate through all these little uh, menus and windows or whatever, you can simply type it in. And it's finding them fairly easily. You know, it does help to, to know the program beforehand like I do, but, but you can kind of just get the idea of just by basically typing in whatever, like, uh, I don't know, oil, filters, new, I guess I don't have that plug in, there's like an oil painting thing, let's try uh, something else, uh, merge ME. Merge layers, yeah. There we go. All right, save. Save as, save. File save, it should be save as. There's save as, okay. Let's try that again, maybe because I went through it once, it'll be there. Save as, nope. Anyways, can't get the idea. It's pretty cool, I like it. I personally think it's a, a cool idea. Um, what do you guys think about it? You know, is it useful? Is it just a, a gimmick, I guess? Um, you know what I mean? I think it'll be even better. I think they had plans for like some type of voice recognition. That'd be totally awesome if they, if they, if that'd be, you know, available soon. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later.